Welcome back to the channel and thank you for being here. I so much appreciate your support. The song that came through was Jelly Roll, Even Angels Cry, I think is the name of it. There's a strong sense, that just from listening to the lyrics of that song, there's a strong sense that somebody is dealing and struggling or dealing with someone else who is dealing and struggling with addiction. And it keeps coming out, and I know that these videos won't be for everybody, but pretty much everyone by now has had addiction touch their life in some way, shape, or form. Some of us have even lost significant people that we love because of addiction. That candle, I don't know if you can see it or not, but it is going off. Holy Spirit, can you please lead, guide, and direct me to get a message for whoever is struggling this morning, for whoever is feeling lost and like giving up and like they've burned way too many bridges and like somebody even struggles with ADD or ADHD and has to take Adderall or should be maybe taking Adderall. You need to see a doctor about that. I'm not a physician. I'm not even a licensed therapist, and I'm not here to act as your therapist either. But there's somebody that's dealing with somebody, or you are that person, that you constantly get tripped up on your addiction because of the mental illness piece that is not being addressed. That's what I'm feeling from the song that I just heard. Now, what direction the reading goes in, I have no idea. That could have just been for one person. I do remember like yesterday's video, it gave us a good idea of what it's like to be in early recovery and needing, there's somebody who needs a job or is in a process of looking for work and it can be a very challenging thing to find work when you just got out of prison or you're about to go back to prison because you've messed up again oh my god there's so many things that could be going on in this situation but i do think that somebody is facing something legal you may be at the end of something legal and now it's time for you to use those new wings of yours and fly and you might be scared. Where is all this coming from, Spirit? Like, I don't even know what I'm saying. Help me, Spirit. Help me, Spirit. All right, let's just pull some cards and just see where this goes. For some reason, this drawer keeps opening up. And when that happens, it's because there's cards in this drawer that need to be used. Spirit says use the black deck to pull overall to row. I was about to pull some different cards. All right, Spirit, please lead, guide, and direct me and do not let any negativity come against this reading to try and confuse me from getting the correct message. All right, so how are you working overall in this collective? The star and the hangman. So it's like I'm bringing hope to somebody who's stuck. You're, you're in a place where you're temporarily stuck. The tower's here with the hanged man. So there's going to be a tower that shakes up the energy where you're stuck. That could be a good thing. That's when towers are good. You're, you're showing up as a Pisces very strongly using your intuition in the hanged man. That could also be a Virgo. Right now the moon is in the sign of Sagittarius and it's a good time to get moving. It's also a good time to strategize on what you want to do. It's a good time for travel. There's going to be a wheel that helps move you forward. Right. What do you want to say to the collective? How are you overall working in the collective right now when it comes to the Tarot energy? The Hierophant came out with the wheel. So this is like the end of something higher level. It could be the end of a job for somebody. They could have lost their job. Yeah, something's over. You're at the very end of something. 
I don't know what this Hierophant represents to you, but this Hierophant is something higher level that's ended. It could be a job, and it could, it could have come through, it could have been fate. Like, this was, it was destiny for this to happen to you, whatever this was. It, it was destined to happen this way, for something to end. What that was, I don't know. Use the other black deck I'm hearing. I may have to look some of these up. Show me how this happened to the collective spirit. Oh, spirit says you better ask Nix for her wisdom. Nix, may I access your wisdom, please, on behalf of this collective? Somebody is having a lot of lust, and they were being playful. Playful and lust. So a strong desire and being playful. You were playing around and you had a lot of lust. Honesty and lust. So it's time to get honest about this desire. How did this happen, Spirit? You needed hope when it came to something that you desired and lust. Or someone. Alright, how did this happen? Oh! You made a promise, you made an oath, and beauty is here. You made a promise, number 49, which is 14, which is 5 and 4. Oh, 40, which is 4. So 5 and 4, which is 9. So you're almost at the end of something here. That's how this happened. You were close to the end of something. Somebody has a lot of tattoos. What is that? tribal tattoo for somebody Caucasian for somebody Rose is here somebody's name could be Rose or you could have a Rose somehow that's significant it's beauty somebody was beautiful and you made them a promise you promised somebody beautiful and you're a warrior. That came out yesterday that you're a warrior. All right. Well, well, what's being hidden, Spirit? What's being hidden? Whoa. Do I take them? No. What's being hidden? Whoa. May I get good strong answers, Molly, please? No floppy doppy, no fluffy duffy. I want good strong answers only, please, from angels, spirit guides. May I have your assistance? Good strong answers only. There we go. Yeah, lust is here and being playful. So secretly you had lust and you were playing and you were hoping. You were lusting, being playful, and hoping in secret. And now you've got to get honest. All right, well, what's being shown? But it looks like you were having, like, a secret affair. A lot of cards came out. Wow. That somebody's deceitful. And this is a reminder that you're trapped. Somebody, you, it looks like you had started a relationship with somebody. And it, there was some deceit involved. So they could have already been with somebody else. And that's why they're trapped. And this is just like a reminder. You were playing with fire. And you're not, you're, you're not, you're pretending to be someone you're not. You're not being individual. And this led to a lot of chaos. All right, what's going to happen next? All right. <clears throat> Healing. You're wishing, but things feel, they feel fragmented right now. You're in this moon energy. You're having to be obedient. And you're understanding something. So there's a legal aspect to this for sure. You may have gotten in trouble. You may have been desiring these drugs and you started playing around with them. Hoping that you wouldn't go back to this addiction. I don't know. 
But you you made somebody a promise, somebody beautiful. You said, I'll never do this again to you. I won't hurt you like this again. That's what I'm hearing. I promise I won't hurt you like this again. I won't hurt you. But you're already finding yourself right back in the same thing with somebody that you're playing around with in secret that you have lust for. And you had just started something. Like, I think you had just reconnected with somebody from, like, your past. Like, it could have been an ex. Y'all split up for this very same reason, and here you are doing it again. <clears throat> and now you're wishing that you, you wish that you didn't have this. It's like... You wish you would stop keeping secrets. And there's something legal here. You've had some consequences for your actions. And you're understanding that this pattern of behavior is what keeps leading you right back to the same outcome. It's like... That saying, if you keep doing the same thing you always did, you're going to keep getting the same results. You have to do something different. You have to change tracks. You have to get off of that merry-go-round. You're somehow already back to doing it again. And it's going to cause something to be over. And you're going to have healing. There's going to be healing. I'm going to get more. How did this happen in a practical way, Spirit? Show me practically, if you may. If I may see, please. Practically, how did this happen to this individual? Or these? And this is all of us. We oh, something fell out. You're not being heard and watch what you say. I'm going to put them back and keep shuffling. Love can hurt like hell, and you got to agree to disagree. So you're arguing with somebody because of this behavior also. All right, show me how this happened. It's like you were keeping secrets from somebody. That's too many. And they found out, and you had to get on it. Show me how this happened. There we go. Somebody needed to listen. Listen. You still don't fucking get it. What's being hidden? What's being hidden? That it's not that serious. So, you think that it's not that serious. But for somebody else, this is very serious. Laugh. Don't make the bullshit make you bitter. Alright, what's being shown? Because somebody thinks that this is not that serious, but it feels very serious. Deal with your drama and bear your soul. So, this person is like, secretly they are having an affair, it looks like. Or that they hope, they have somebody that they have lust and that they play with. And that they're hoping for. I'm not sure what they're hoping for, we're going to pull a card on that. To see what they're hoping for. Maybe you're hoping it's not that serious. Whatever trouble you've gotten yourself in here. But what's being shown is that you need to deal with your drama. And what that means is handle your exes, your old hurts, and unresolved shit. And bear your fucking soul. Trust. Share your crazy ass dreams, wishes, and passions. And we see that you're wishing here so what's going to happen next is you're going to be wishing <clears throat> that things weren't so fragmented it feels like nothing really fits together and that you didn't have these secrets because you have something legal going on and you're understanding something about this situation all right what's going to happen next in a practical way oh my god i'm not taking that many cards <laughs> What's going to happen next, Spirit? So give them to me again, I'll take them. What's going to happen? Oh, that flew out with force. Oh, yeah. <laughs> you're going to say, I'm hot, smart, and I have a great ass, and you're lucky, and you should let me get away with this shit. You're going to open your mouth, use big words, talk, empathize. 
So you're going to like be like, okay, I agree. Um, I don't think you're right, but I'm going to agree with you anyway because I'm just a pushover. I'm a spineless wimp. That's the feel it has. It's like you allow this person to treat you like this and get away with this because you want something. You want something here. And this person, ooh, this person is deceitful. <laughs> And they are trapped. And it's like they are remembering how deceitful it is. It, it's like every time we, every time I take you back, you do this to me. Why do I keep taking you back? And doing it in secret even. Like you're, you're hiding the fact that you're with this person from everybody. And, and you made somebody a promise. You were like... I promise my life's going to be beautiful from now on. I'm never going to go back to that fool. And you know, and they, they don't even listen to you anymore because they know you're bullshit. They know you're not telling the truth because you have done this so many times. You've taken this person back so many times. All right, before we pull a card on... Well, I wanted to pull a card on here. Your, your hope. What are you hoping for? I mean, you might just be hoping that it's not that serious. <laughs> okay. Purity again and embracing. Embracing purity. Embracing forgiveness. That purity card is about being forgiven. Purity and release. So it's like, I'm going to forgive you again, but this time I'm letting you go. Because this, you know, fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Oh, I'm going to be free. I'm releasing you so you can be free and so can I. I'm letting you go because this always happens and I'm over it. I'm done. All right, Spirit, what do you want to say to the collective? <clears throat> you're, you're being flexible. You need to be more flexible and get in the flow when it comes to love. Be more flexible and flowing when it comes to love. Interesting. And this is going to be the key to you thriving. So it's like you're holding on to someone who's not really healthy for you. This person could be a healthy person, but just not when they're with you. That was the way my husband and I were at times. Like... That's the way me and my first husband were at times. Is because of our addiction, we had become very codependent. And I could not say no. You're going to release this person. It looks like you're going to be more flexible. And you're going to allow things to flow. All right, Energy Oracle, what the hell's going on here? Somebody's hurt and they need work. They need money. Even angels cry. Your heart chakra is opening and you need a job. Or you need to know how much you're worth. You don't realize your worth, maybe. You have adjacent possibilities. You have more than one possibility for a job. Alright, what is going on here? I hope I'm even getting close to the neighborhood. Weakness, yeah. You're going to go on a journey. You're going somewhere. You're going to travel because of this desire that you have, this lust you have over here. You want something so bad, and you're hoping for it even, and you're going to go to it. You're going to travel to it because of a weakness that you have. Because you can't, you can't deny the, I can't deny that feeling any longer, that kind of thing. All right, let's find out more about what's going on here. Because it feels like somebody is uh, kind of having to deal with an ex. You're, you're, you made a mistake, and it caused you a lot of burdens. Somebody made a mistake. Somebody was 
under a lot of pressure and somebody else was pushing their buttons. And you know, that's like a recipe for an argument right out of the gate. Somebody had competition. There was somebody else involved here. I feel like that's what the problem is, is that you're with somebody you're trapped with, but you don't want to be with them. Oh, and you're clueless pushing buttons. You don't even know you're pushing somebody's buttons and causing these burdens. Like, they might not even tell you. They might be keeping that secret also. They might not be telling, like... If you say or do something that pushes their buttons, you somebody forever changed their life without even trying, and the other person is clueless. Alright, show me, show me how this happened. You had somebody new. The grass wasn't greener. You had your differences because you were a player. You were a player. You had somebody new. So yeah, you were in secret. They found out about your secret love. And you wouldn't decide what you wanted to do. Do I want this one or do I want that one? So you were going to try to play the, the field and play both of these people. What was being hidden that they had hope for? They were hoping that this would not be for you and that it would not be the right time. But this is not the right time came out in reverse. Somebody was hoping that you were not going to pursue this person because of timing being wrong. What's being shown is that there's an apology and there's jealousy. I'm sorry, I was just jealous. So you're like, you're apologizing to them for being jealous of their new love. But secretly, you were hoping that this would not be for them. What's going to happen next? You're all are going to reconcile. <laughs> Somebody stayed up all night thinking about how they could reconcile, but, and it was all in somebody's head, like they couldn't get these thoughts from running through their head, but somebody else is like, no, I'm shutting down and I'm swearing off dating. I have a desire to not be with anyone right now. I don't want either one of y'all, but you're, but somebody's worried about divine timing. So the truth is, is that you, you're going to shut down and be like, I don't want to be with either one of y'all. Y'all are jealous of each other. I, I'm going to go on this journey, even though I have this desire. Hmm. Interesting reading, collective. All right, let's see what else is going on here. These cards, even though they got wet because they're, they're dangerous. They give us truth. Somebody's having assistance from spirit guides and they're wearing a facade about their belief. They're pretending like they don't believe what they do believe. Which is causing them to not be them true their true selves. They are having to surrender, release and purge. Assistant guides are helping somebody to let go of a relationship that is no longer good for them. Because this person Oh, it's got a nasty feel to it. There's somebody starting. You have assistance with an ace of pentacles. So you have a new love. You might be planning on moving in with this person. Or getting a new job. I don't know. Whichever way that rolls with you. You're going to have an ace of pentacles, it looks like. Or thinking about it. Alright, show me how this happened, spirit. Somebody wanted their freedom. Because when they looked in, in the mirror, they saw their reflection. The mirror is here with reflection and projection. So when they wanted their freedom because when 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 somebody did something, they would see that and they would see it in you, but they couldn't see it in themselves. So it was like they were playing that blame game, like this is all your fault. Uranus is here helping you to take a leap towards an opportunity. But you can't see something. Why is reflection here? That's the fragmentation that you're feeling up there. Because of a loss and some karma. You feel like you need to take a leap towards freedom. But you feel like you might be rejected. Because of karma. Alright, what's being hidden? 
there's an opportunity you want to go for. Oh, that you're using your intuition about being disappointed. What's being shown? That somebody is confused, but there is fate intervening. This wheel is going to take you on. And there's something that's going to happen that's going to send you on a journey, and it's going to be a divine detour. What's going to happen next? Oh, that's too many cards, Spirit. <clears throat> Okay, in the winter, somebody's going to take action. They're going to have the courage to take action. They're going to have a new love that they've been a, a, in, they're at a distance from, and they're going to tell this person that they want to have a family home and commitment with you. Wow. That's what's going to happen next. Is this situation one of these situations you're going to finally have the courage to, to show this person that you love them even though they're at a distance you're going to say hey look I want to have a family home and commitment with you and you could have started thinking about this in the winter this past like what we're coming out of now and going into spring that's you have all the aces here except the Ace of Pentacles, and we saw it in the pre-shuffle. Wow. What's going to happen next is you're going to have the courage to tell somebody, I love you, I'm at a distance from you, but I want to tell you the truth. I do want a family home and commitment with you, maybe even children. Somebody wants to have a commitment with you. That's the truth. All right. So, I don't see anything that indicates Twin Flame at all. So, if I use a Twin Flame deck, it's not going to come out unless it's relevant. This could just be anybody. It doesn't have to. You may not have a Twin Flame. Not everybody has one. You're going to bring healing to your life because you're going to end one of these relationships. There's one of these relationships that you were thinking about reconciling. And the person was like, no, I don't want to reconcile. I don't want to reconcile because I'm going to have the courage to love this other person that I've been playing around with in secret. You're using your intuition about disappointment. Why would you be disappointed? Look, somebody feels guilty because of sabotage. Why is disappointment here? That beautiful person, you feel guilty about something you did to them. What did they do, Spirit? You were conflicted. You had lust. Lust is here twice. And now you're getting clarity on some drifting that's happening. Somebody's drifting. Somebody's, somebody's like, I don't want this anymore. And somebody wants to run wild and go after this. This is what it looks like to me. They're going to go on a journey. You're going on a journey. And it's coming through a divine intervention and a detour, a divine detour, <clears throat> that's what's being shown, is that you're confused, but you're going on a divine detour. You don't understand why you're having to go on this detour. Why are they going on a divine detour? Because you have to let go. There's going to be something that happens, some upheaval, some shock, unexpected trouble that's going to cause you to have to let go and somebody's keeping this a secret and we see over here that it's an it's another relationship that you have a very strong lust and desire for it could it doesn't have to be lust in a negative way it could be like damn that person turns me on that's the feel it has how do they feel about this person they have so much lust for oh like you're being dishonest. What do you mean they're being dishonest? Because you're you're hiding some dark influences. So this is not a good thing, actually. And somebody's receptive to it. What might be the outcome here? The chase. Somebody's chasing the hell out of this person because they have lust. And they're hoping for it. It keeps showing up that you're hoping that it can work out. How does the other person feel? Like they're not getting the nourishment they need. And like this is, um, they've, they've done this before. You remember I said I've been here with you before. 
how does the third person feel like somebody is possibly it's shallow but in reverse clarify shallow and reverse that could mean that they're real deep that this is a deep yeah it's a spiritual connection the mirrors here and somebody having heart fog in the past somebody couldn't see and look there's divine feminine so yeah it is a twin flame so, this person's like, you've done this to me before, you're not going to do it to me again. And the other person's like, don't worry, you're, I'm going to call somebody and talk to them about me, them being a victim to this. You, there's communication about being a victim. <clears throat> communication with somebody who hasn't been talking to you and who hasn't been listening to you. So there's communication coming in somehow, and there's going to be communication about justice. It could be something legal, or it could be about wanting a divorce, or it could be about just this being made right. Where is the Divine Feminine at here? Divine Feminine, somebody's returning. To a soulmate or somebody returned to a soulmate and it taught you some lessons where's divine masculine realizing their worth realizing how much they're worth what's connecting you to creativity why is creativity in reverse though devotion is also here you're devoted to one another what's going to be the outcome of this and you're going to be patient, and there's a potential here for forgiveness. It's in reverse. The answer will be yes. Somebody's forgiving somebody, and they're going to be like, go on your journey. You can go. I'm going to release you so you can have this new love. That's what it looks like to me. The answer is going to be yes. To what, spirit? Yep. To a fresh start and no longer deceiving this person. They're going to no longer lie to this other person because it's causing destruction to lie. You can't lie about a relationship when you're in a relationship because it will just keep causing destruction. Alright, so now I'm going to pull Tarot on this. Spirit, why is the Hierophant in reverse. This could have caused the end of a marriage because somebody that was hiding their feelings is having an idea of how they can clean up karma and have somewhere new to work or live. Alright, why is the wheel here in reverse? King of Wands is here. That's Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. Everything came out in reverse except for you're being real confused. Damn, boy. The wheel is about somebody ghosting somebody for work. They haven't decided yet, but they're thinking about ghosting you and exploring something else. That's what the wheel is. The wheel is somebody being ghosted because they want to explore something else. And it could be a king of wands, a Leo. What's the what's the world card? Yeah, there's a date. There's gonna be a, a date, an invitation with somebody to have time with them. What's gonna happen on this date? It's divine timing. You will not be bickering and fighting. And it's going to lead to everything. Ten Pentacles. This is somebody that you're going to get along real good with. This person you go on this date with. But somebody is going to try and play mind games. Betray you. And it might be some toxicity that you have to remove yourself from. Why is that deception reversed there? That wishing. Somebody's wishing. I think they're wishing you'd stop doing this. What are they wishing for? Oh my God. The Empress on the bottom of the deck. They're wishing that you would be honest with them about this new love you have and stop trying to deceive them. 
could be a pregnancy involved also, or could have been, could have lost it. It came out in reverse, because this person's deep in their head. They were thinking all night about how they may want to reconcile, but they were like, nah, I've done this enough. This person's got a deep connection to this other person. They learned their lessons, though, about this person. All right, I don't know what else to say. I mean, it's kind of telling its its own truth with pulling of the cards. All right, let's see what comes out of this deck. What would you say to this person out of here? There's a new love that's going to bring you stability. Somebody has somebody new that can bring them stability. The stability is here and children. And we have children that will help with this stability. Children are interfering in your stability. Okay, so there's some children that are causing you all to not get along as well. Alright, what's the situation we're dealing with here? Somebody needs their life to be balanced because they've been on different pages. And there's something here about needing a second chance. Somebody needs a second pa pants? You need second pants? <laughs> okay, then. Marriage is here. Apology is here. Chemistry and twin flame are here. So, one person is giving too much, and you and this person don't share the same vision. But you feel like this deserves a second chance. What's going to... What was what, what what am I missing, Spirit? Like what in am I that this is true love? There's a soulmate here. True love. Warning, healing. You need healing. Soulmate, there's true love and warning healing. Why are you warning us about this true love and healing? Because you need to use your intuition. It'll mean something different for everybody. So use your intuition. You need to wait. Why are they waiting? Because of an apology. What else? You can expect the apology you want. And forgiveness. Yeah. They need, there needs to be forgiveness. An apology and forgiveness. To a soulmate who was a true love. But you're healing from this. Alright, what's going to be the outcome? You're going to take a leap of faith and put away the computer. What are they taking a leap of faith towards? A friendship with boundaries. There you have a friend that has good boundaries with you. Right now there may be some obstacles. But you're going to leap towards a friendship that has, and with boundaries, of course. You're going to have an apology lead that leads to forgiveness, a friendship, and boundaries. Alright, what's going to ha happen with the other person? You're going to trust and have time apart. You're going to trust this person even though you're apart from them. There's marriage here, the spiritual lesson, and go slow. But you're awakening that this is fate and you're going to have abundance right now. <laughs> Okie dokie then. So it looks like somebody is letting go of one person and moving towards somebody else. Because it's been over for a long time. And this person has been doing this over and over and over again. And they're like, I'm not going to keep letting you hurt me this way. I have got to move on with my life. I have children to consider. Oracle and Spellcaster. What would you say to this person out of the Spellcaster's deck? It's determined for the truth to come out. The truth is going to come out. You're going to have prosperity. There's that beauty again. This person loves animals and they are determined. What are they determined of? Somebody might like to play volleyball. What are they determined to do or have? Or what? Whoa. The family card on the top of the deck. What are they determined? Somebody is determined that they're going to be strong and have blessings. Your protections here. What do you mean be strong and have blessings? The Empress is here with travel. 
and a career. You might be traveling to see this person and they have a good career, or you might be traveling to see this person so you can have a good career. You might be moving. I think right now you're working on this to make it happen. All right, be careful what you pray for. You might get it. You might have a formal, beautiful red dress. All right, Spirit says, nothing real can be threatened. How can you actively participate in creating heaven on earth? So there's something you have to do to make heaven on earth. The universe rewards motion. What guided action can you take today? So you're being encouraged to take action somehow. Alrighty then, let's get something else. And then we're going to go to work. Because it's time for work. Almost time. I, had, I woke up early and forgot that the time changed last night. So I was up at like 5 a.m. <laughs> All right, so what would you say to this collective out of these cards? Thank you so very much. That one, sh Spirit showed me that card this morning, but I can't call it because I didn't say anything. <clears throat> and I don't, I don't care. <laughs> at this point, Spirit is in control, and y'all know that. <laughs> If you don't, you, you'll figure it out because it's obvious that I am very fragile. <laughs> you have a powerful spiritual journey to take this lifetime. It's not always easy to take this path. However, you are a wisdom bearer. You are one of the precious one who is not destroyed by dark experiences in life, but is rather able to find wisdom and empowerment through overcoming them. You've done it before and you'll do it again now. As your soul becomes powerful enough, the pressures she has survived, you'll be able to rise to even greater challenges, but they will feel easier for you than before. You are unstoppable. You have every right to feel bold and joyful about what life holds for you next. Black Diamond is a bearer of powerful spiritual mojo. She shines with dark beauty through the soul that has been able to withstand great intensity and remain intact with the power to defend you against jealousy, ill-wishing, and curses. Black Diamond gives you the power to face your fears. Your soul has been working with Black Diamond, transforming your attitude towards fear, learning how to feel it without being overcome by it. Black Diamond is only available to the old soul who is ready for it. It takes many lifetimes to be able to confront fear. You have to develop unconditional spiritual trust to do this. Only then can you go through the darkness of the unknown and face your fears willingly with absolute certainty that you will learn something of value to your soul and know that you will find your way out into the light once more. You are strong enough to experience the darkness within you and in the world around you without breaking your trust in spirit. Your soul knows that, even when we cannot see how, all things ultimately work for good. Black Diamond reminds you that you are an ancient and wise soul with the power to create love, even out of darkness. You are made strongest through every experience. The things that once would have caused you pressure will actually become so much easier for you to handle. You are ready for an empowered, beautiful, and precious life journey ahead. Sacred Ritual. Imagine, feel, visualize, or pretend that you have a black diamond resting in your hands and say aloud, I call upon the diva of black diamond and I give thanks for your protection, blessing, and empowerment in my soul. Love and light will conquer all else. Then imagine that you slowly release any fears or doubts into the black diamond where they can be transformed into light. Then imagine that you release the stone from your palms, allowing it to be slowly absorbed into the earth. And we have Be There For You. Be There For You, number four. This is the one I saw earlier. Be There For You. 
it's time to let yourself off the hook. Don't interpret the behavior of other people or circumstances outside of your control to indicate something negative. Oh, my candle went out. It's okay. I have two more burning. Sorry. It's time to let yourself off the hook. Don't interpret the behavior of other people to or circumstances outside of yourself to control or indicate something negative about you. Forgive yourself for anything that you feel you have done wrong. You can learn from your choices more easily if you stop punishing yourself whenever you feel that you've made a mistake. Even the decisions that we regret can help us grow wiser when we swap judgment for compassion. Sometimes we can only learn what we need to know from what doesn't work out so well at the time. Forgive yourself. Have your own back and be good to you. You have an open, sensitive, beautiful heart. Remember beauty kept coming out? Sometimes the world cannot meet the heart of yours on equal terms. Sometimes the heart of others are just too closed and afraid. That's okay because it's part of why you were born. To help heal and open the hearts of the world your divine heart freely for all to experience. You never have to close down or turn away from that sacred purpose in the world, but you do deserve to be safeguarded and protected. Know that you have your own back. When fearful, angry people lash out in pain, trying to hurt others because they cannot get past their own hurt, do not make it about you. Your heart knows how to love and protect you whilst it has compassion for the suffering that another may be feeling. Remember that you must be there for yourself, nurturing your own heart with plenty of love. Give to yourself just as you give to the world with kindness and generosity. Don't allow anyone or anything to make you forget that is real and true. The wisdom and love that fills your own divine heart and helps heal the world. Sacred ritual. Place one hand on your belly and one hand on your heart. Sway a little from side to side and imagine that you sway there in a river of energy that travels between your two hands. The river of energy swirls and flows around your hips and your heart leaving you feeling inspired and really, really good. You now have twice the amount of energy. Say aloud, I am a fortress of divine love. I stand strong in my divine presence. I am peacefully and powerfully me with a beautiful heart divinely protected. And then I'm going to read you Mermaid Soul number 33. I'm going to pull some money cards for you. Deep within, you know what excites and inspires you. Your job isn't to decide whether that inspiration is practical, realistic, or even possible. Human beings have been shown throughout history that the idea which they once scoffed at as being ridiculous or impossible to achieve can become the realities that they rely upon and take for granted as a natural part of their daily lives not long afterwards. You too shall move from doubt to wondering how you ever lived without this passion, idea, or inspiration of yours. Let the universe show off its creative flair for the unexpected and inspirational through you. Do not give up on what truly moves and inspires your heart, for soon enough it will be part of your world. Sacred Ritual. Imagine that your inner mermaid can sing to you now, using whatever words or sounds she likes. Her honest voice rises up from the depths of your soul. Let her sing to you, expressing deep truths, either aloud or silently, as you listen to her with your spiritual ability of inner hearing. Receive her siren song, whether it makes sense straight away or not, with unconditional acceptance and loving respect. All right, let's pull in some money cards and see what's coming through your money this week. What's coming to this collective financially? Nature and going to the next level. Gaia. Some of you might work in plant medicine. I want to learn more about that. Gaia and going to the next level. Having an inspiration that's going to take you to the next level. All right. What else? 
One more time, and we're going to pull cards. You're going to have a partnership that you're inspired to have. You're going to be inspired to partner up with somebody. It's going to bring you a lot of abundance. Okay. What's going to happen this week with the collective? You need to be cautious about writing. We keep seeing that. Cautious about what you write. You're going to juggle and you're beautiful. Hmm. What do you mean be cautious what you write? There's going to, something could cause a conflict that would lead to spell work. And it's a designer and a rescuer. Caution about what you write. It's going to cause a conflict. There's spell work, a designer, and a rescuer. Out comes a spell work. You're going to have a strategy. Clarify what you mean by that. There's gossip about an investment that you're going to make. And this will unlock something that's locked. So something that has to be unlocked. There's gossip that you're making an investment. You might be buying a home. Or going to go to somewhere near to live. And there's gossip. People are talking about it. And they're doing spell work. Cautious. And if they're not doing actual spell work. Then they're just talking about you real bad. Alright. There's evidence of cheating. And somebody's playing games. That's what's being said. And if this, oh, there's cards that are turned over. Alright. We have a, a marriage ending. Use sexual protection. A movie date. Somebody had a movie date. You need to check yourself. You're going to get kicked to the curb. You've been riding it out. This is toxic. But you have a diamond girl that was born to shine. And this has been a nightmare. That's what was turned over in the deck. Those were from a previous reading I did. So I'm going to put them back in on the right way. And we're going to shuffle these cards. Somebody is a bugaboo. And there's evidence of cheating. So you feel like this and bugs your um, person. <laughs> like they constantly are texting them or oh be careful what you write in them text messages because somebody is watching. Somebody is checking up on the phone looking to see what's being said. Be careful what you text because somebody's watching. You're fulfilling a fantasy and talking to other people about this. What are they saying? What are they saying? Be careful what you text somebody else, okay? That somebody's trash and fulfilling a fantasy. That's not very nice. That's not very nice at all. Uh-oh, somebody's keeping you secret. That was turned over in the deck. Somebody is trash. You're fulfilling a fantasy and keeping somebody's keeping you a secret. What's the truth about being trash? Oh. That this is a private relationship and somebody just doesn't want to hear it. And it is a secret relationship and it's a spiritual one too. For some reason, parents came out in reverse. Anything else we need to know that's true here? That sometimes the sugar and salt both look the same and somebody's in their feelings because of bad choices. Somebody being busy, a hater. And family time. I'm gonna stop there. There's no sense in carrying on with gossip. Gossip doesn't lead you anywhere. Collect you. So what would your best friend say to you? If they could say anything at all, what would they say? Because I'm sure you've talked to them about this situation. They would say, Start new. It's okay to outrun people. Start new. It's okay to outgrow people. That's what your best friend would say to you. That reminds me of a dream I had last night. Not start new and outgrow people. But I had a dream about my friend Dean. The one that represents the pirate trinket. And me and him talked for like forever last night in my dream. We just talked and talked and talked. Alright. I think we're going to stop there. The angels have something they want to say to you. What do you want to say, angels? 
It's about running a relationship here. It's about sexuality and resurrection. All right, what else? You're gonna have knowledge that brings you hope. All right, what else? Yeah, you're gonna hear, you're gonna hear some kind of message. You're gonna be adored. You're probably watching somebody. You have protection. You have music. And you have a divine plan with fire, passion on the bottom of the deck. All right, I think we're going to close it there. Let's get trinkets for this reading. Trinkets, please, spirit. I have a poised angel, a huge unicorn with made with love, a heart with love, an ant eater, an orchid, a butterfly, a butterfly, and Harry Potter nine and three quarters, which we haven't had in a while. We used to get that in a Gemini reading all the time back in the day, a couple years back. If you're back from somewhere, welcome back. I'm glad to have you. Somebody is a metalhead. Music note with a skull. A horse. It could be from the Outer Banks, or you could be from um, Kentucky, or you just might like horses. Infinity, your abundance is here, an arrow, Sagittarius is here, a, a, a quartz crystal, an Eiffel Tower, sorry about the background noise, that's the nurse taking care of Miss Mary. Live your dream, learn from yesterday, live for today, and hope for tomorrow, and I will hold you in my heart until I hold you in heaven. All right, collective, I hope you have a blessed day, and good luck with this situation. It does sound like somebody is about to finally make a decision to, to end a relationship and start something new. And it's probably this spiritual connection, but it could be that they're going to end the spiritual connection and start, I don't know. They're going towards the new, and they're keeping that person secret. I love you guys. Au revoir. Bye.